What is up my dudes, Kevin here, I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new money making method where it's pretty much just like an unlimited fish spawner. It's super super cool, so if at any point you guys enjoy this or it's helpful, you know the deal, drop a like down on the video and comment down below, have you used this method? What kind of methods have you been using to make money? And other than that guys, make sure you subscribe and let's get right on to the video. So as many of you guys know, fish like water. And where do fish stay? In large bodies of water. And as you can see here, we got three fish right here, guys. Three fish. So you already know we're going to make tons of money. That's crazy. No, I'm just joking. Okay, that is not the spot. Actually, you want to come on up to here, guys. And let me show you where we're actually going to be fishing. So this is actually where we're going to be getting the fish from. I know it sounds crazy. Some of you are probably like, well, this is just a little pond. What are you talking about? I don't even see any ripples in the water. Just watch. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. But before we do that, let me show you guys where you actually have to go. You want to go to St. Denise right here, this little pond area. And you'll first notice that there's no fish in here, actually. It's completely empty, not a single fish to be seen, and it's just water. But there is a way to change that. So what you guys want to do is pull out your fishing rod, just like that. And you'll notice still nothing, still nothing in the water, guys. Now what you want to do is put some bait on, a lure, whatever you have. Now, once you do that, you should see some ripples starting to appear in the water. So just give it a second. Actually, throw this bad boy in there. Now, as you can see, we pull that in. We put your rod away at this point. And you're going to see some ripples in the water. We just saw some pop up down there. So what you want to do is pull out your varmint rifle. Or you can use a bow and arrow. You're able to shoot these fish with the bow and arrow. You can pick them up. But at this point... Oh, wow. We lucked out right off the bat. We got a sturgeon. Hey. So, I was going to get to that later on in the video, but yes, you can get Lake Sturgeon from this pond. And on top of the Lake Sturgeon, there's a whole bunch of other fish as well, which I'm going to show you. Now, the Lake Sturgeon can be tricky to get out of the water. You can see you can't hop up, you can't drop it over. So, what you want to do is just drop it in the corner and should be able to grab it just like that, guys. Then you're good to go. Load that onto your horse or leave it here until you guys are good to go. But, just hop back on in. Shoot some more fish. Looks like this to see what else we got. This looks like a rock bass, if I'm correct. Fishing expert over here. Okay, nope, smallmouth bass. Never. Okay, never mind. No, not an expert. And these fish are going to keep spawning and spawning. If they don't, I'll show you guys a method as you can get them to spawn in more. Super simple. Literally the easiest fishing method I've come across besides the whole deer carcass thing. But this one even compares to that. Come here, boy. Eat that boy. There we go. See what we got here. This is probably a pickerel. Yep, chain pickerel. Throw that in our bag. Now, when you think you got all the fish, or you know you got all the fish, watch this. Did you guys just see that? I didn't even have to do it. Holy crap. You got to be joking me right now. You got to be... Is this real life? Is this real? Yeah. Yeah, this is real. We just got, we just got three lake sturgeons to spawn in. Uh, that's actually pretty. I don't know what's going on right now. It's pretty rare, but uh, hey, that YouTuber luck. Let's drop this right here. Okay, so we already got four lake sturgeons. The problem is, I only brought one horse. I would have brought an extra one if I expected to get so many of them. But let's check out some of these other fish that we got. Basically, you just shoot them, guys. You can also use bow and arrow, like I said. Those actually hit the ones that are a little too deep in the water. If you're finding that problem. All right, so we got another smallmouth bass. We got a bluegill. And now it's getting pretty dark, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these two sturgeons that I have now over to the butcher, sell them, show you guys what you get for that. And then we'll come back when it's light time, and I'll show you the other fish that are in here as well. Because I know you guys probably can't see too well. And there's another sturgeon swimming around. So what I was talking about earlier is, of course, you could just throw one on your horse. If you had a second horse, you could throw another one on that horse. And then, of course, you can carry the third one, and you'd be good to go. Or, I mean, if you guys really wanted, you could bring a cart here if you guys want to do that. I know a lot of people aren't too big of fans of the cart method because it leaves you open to be griefed. You know, you can do all the hard work, fill up a cart full of stuff. Then, you know, some little some little guy comes around and says, uh, 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 and just starts blasting you with varmint rifles over and over. Yeah, it's not that fun. 
You know, now that I'm running all this way back, I'm starting to think to myself, you know, maybe actually I prefer the little bass and the little bluegills and the little pickerels. You know, you don't have to spam X. My thumb's getting a little tired here. I'm getting a little distracted. But hey, I'm almost there, boys. I'm almost there. Oh, no. Look at this. No, don't you do it. Get away from me. Don't you do it. <laughs> Stop it. Get away from me. Okay, he has a friend with him. We're almost there. Oh, come on. Come on, don't stop now. All right, so here's what we got from that literally like a minute that we were there, honestly. And there's actually more fish. There's there's two more sturgeons that we didn't bring over. I would have been more prepared and got those, but hey, I had no clue I was going to be that lucky. So here we go. The lake sturgeon, $7.25 each. That's some good, good money right there. So $15 right off the bat. Super, super easy. And you get the chain pickles for a dollar. Okay. The bluegill, 75 cents. Done. And the smallmouth bass, which are two dollars, so very good money, Damn. guys. Very, very good money. Now, if you start this, well, obviously you can do this at nighttime too. But for the sake of the video, and for the sake of you guys, I wanted to just stop there until wait till morning, so you guys can actually see what's going on. So I'm gonna go back, wait till morning, and uh, I'll get some other kinds of fish for you guys, and we'll go cash out. All right, it's morning time, so here we go, round two again, guys. Simply take out the fishing rod. All right, nothing will pop of us first. We're gonna throw some bait on this bad boy. And you should see some fish appear in this pond or this fountain or this whatever whatever this thing is. All right, and we should be good to go. See, once they start appearing, give it a little second. Let them do their thing. Get ready to rock and roll. Oh, I should also point out, you want to use the varmint rifle or the bow. I might have said that earlier. I'm not sure, but just to make sure, the varmint rifle or the bow so you don't damage the fish. Again, we got the sturgeons, guys. Again, and we got the rock bass or the smallmouth bass, I believe. Which is two bucks, so we got the, some of the best fish already off the bat. Let's grab the sturgeon again. Ah, and we'll grab the bass. Whoa, where'd he go? Well, might as well get this uh, sturgeon out since he's in a good spot for us. We can grab him right through the wall. I'm gonna put him down here, and we'll throw him on our horse later. Top back on in. Let's see what we got here. This looks like to be another smallmouth. That's two bucks right there. What we got going on over here, it looks like a... You can barely see it. What is that? Probably a pickerel. Well, they're that small, it's probably a little pickerel. Now, if you're having trouble shooting the pickerels, just go ahead and pop that uh, dead eye off, like I just did right there. You'll be able to see it a lot clearer in the water if you're having trouble with that. Now, as you can see, the fish aren't spawning in right now, so what you want to do is just hop on out. Pop. Take your fishing rod back out. And they'll pop right back into the water. So pretty much an unlimited fish spawner right here in Santa Denise, guys. Spawn as many fish as you want. Go for as long as you want. You can just stack up all these. What the? What the heck just happened? Anyways, what do we got here? Is this a bluegill? Come here, boy. There we go. Yeah, this is a bluegill. So, so far we've gotten bluegills, chain pickerels, smallmouth bass, and lake sturgeons. We haven't come across anything else yet, but uh, we'll give it a few more tries and see if I can get any other kinds of fish for you guys, and I'll let you know. You seem to get a good amount of these smallmouth bass, which is very good because these are two bucks. You want these pretty much over any kind of fish, I would say. Even over the, well, the lake sturgeons are good if you get about, you know, two of them. Because anything more than two, it's going to be a bit of a hassle. So if you get a lot of rock bass or smallmouth bass, I should say, you're looking pretty good, guys. Oh, here we go. We got a bullhead catfish, guys. So... That's another type of fish we got. Looks like we have a lot of catfish spawning in this time. I guess once you get one type of fish, it usually sticks to that usual type. Maybe that's why we got three sturgeons in the one go. Also, I just noticed once you clear it out, look, we got another sturgeon. This is this is this is insane. But as I was saying, I noticed once it runs out of fish, literally just hop out, run to the other end of it, and then they appear at the opposite end. So that's another way to do it if uh you know, you don't feel like taking out your fishing rod. So let's grab this sturgeon. Hit, the, hit my shots. There we go. Another bass as well, looks like. Oh, let me take this bad boy out first. Let's push him to the edge. There we go. Oh, my God. We have... Okay, so it looks like we have about three bass in here. And there's another sturgeon down there as well. This is just starting to look like a better and better spot as time goes on. You can make some serious money here. And it's so, so easy. Let's take this boy out. That boy. Look at that. Oh my god. 
Look at all these fish. Okay, so again, this time, we got four lake sturgeons, which is crazy. I can only bring two of them because I, you know, I don't have another horse. But if you guys want to get the other ones, you could either go to the street, steal a horse, and use that one to carry an extra one, or bring an extra horse of yours, if you have one, and do it that way. Or bring a cart, which would be the hardest method. And St. Denise is a pretty popular place, so you would run the risk of getting griefed with that method. So I'm going to do this same thing. I'm going to run two of them back, and we'll sell all these little fish we got, show you guys what I got. Again, we were there for about three minutes or so, not long at all. You guys can get a gauge on how much money you can expect to get yourself. All right, we have made it and we arrived and we got quite a few fish to sell. So let's start at the beginning again the smallmouth bass eight dollars worth That's good money right there. Then we got the bullhead catfish 75 cents each two dollars 75 cents for those So right now we're at eight Deal. Then we got the bluegills another 75 cents each for those two dollars 25 cents in total So right now we're looking at what 13 about 13 dollars so far 13 14 then we got the poor smallmouth bass. I think I shot this one twice by accident, so this would be another two bucks, but I kind of messed up. Then we got the chain pickles, a dollar each, six bucks right there. Then we got the two lake sturgeons, seven dollars, 25 cents each. Sell those. That right there is going to be another 15. So overall, that's about 35 to 40 bucks, depending on how many you guys get. Of course, I was only there a few minutes. You guys can do this until you have 10 of each. And be fully maxed out and you'll get a lot of money but guys super useful spot very cool wanted to make sure i showed you this guys hazard was actually the first person i saw to upload this so shout out to him if you guys want to check his channel out but i wanted to make sure that you guys found this as well because definitely a super cool super fun spot and other than that hope you enjoyed the video drop a like down if you did comment down below how this spot worked out for you did you get a lot of sturgeons as well i'm kind of curious on that one and other than that make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.